Honestly, bro. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know the, uh, the the fairy tale, right? The uh, Hans, Hans Christian Andersen, Mermaid. Yes. And of course, you know this thing, uh, uh, movie, Little Mermaid. So it's kind of mixture. But the uh, I mean, when I start thinking about it, the painting, it's uh, I, I mixed in my mind uh, both uh, uh, plots because something uh, that in the Little Mer Mermaid never happened in uh, in Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale because it's more tragic uh, in Hans Christian. I didn't want to go that that way. Okay. The Disney more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. More, more positive. So, uh, and uh, my daughter actually was so attached to the mermaid, to the little mermaid. She sings that song. That's and, my favorite. Yeah, yeah. And all that thing. And uh, it became my favorite too. So, uh, what uh, was going on here? Uh, you know, the uh, mermaid got, uh, she, uh, she asked the, the witch to trade the uh, legs for her voice legs for her voice and she got a legs so and uh, uh, then she lost the voice and she lost actually the prince that's how in Anderson fairy tale she uh, she went to the sea and uh, turned into the form right yes so uh, but it, it has a, a deeper uh, like a psychological meaning here. Uh, it's like uh, you are getting from child to the adult, but you still want to get back because you feel safe and secure when you are a kid. Yes. So, and you, you dream to, to, to get back, even if you don't have a tail anymore, but you could sacrifice everything to get back to mom and pop and, you know, feel that uh, cozy uh, feeling that you are... Uh, guarded you yes. are secure and stuff so here it's like a, a, a mermaid in in her dream she she she's Fantastic. sleeping and she has a dream she's back to her uh cage when she i mean the cave when she put all this stuff she found on the bottom of the sakes. sea yeah and she she collected things and stuff but because she has no uh tails anymore she wears that uh, flippers ah. <laughs> and, the, and the mask. So she's human now, but she's, but she's she, back in, in her in dream. She still can can live under the sea. Beautiful. So that's, uh, uh, Beautiful. If I may, is there any significance to the time on the on the, on the, the time you selected? The, the, the time that that you trying to get back. Okay. You know? But specifically, I think it's set to no, no, no. Eleven. Eleven. No, it's seven. It's just a clock. Okay. It's it just a clock just a that clock. you can turn turn back and forth because I mean the time is a like Einstein said like it, it's a uh, irrelevant. Or, yeah. yeah, we cannot understand what is that. We just invented the clock. That, that exactly that what we invented that for, for us time is a clock, and in our mind. Uh, in subconsciousness, probably we think that we can we can turn it. You know? Yeah, but really, <laughs> so, it's... Yeah, yeah, stop the time. I mean, stop the time. It's, really, yeah. it's so beautiful now that you know I can I can go further. So and uh, and the this is a, like a human uh, um, tool to operate under the sea. So, he was a commercial diver yes, for... <laughs> the Mark V did it for a long time. He did it for a long time, and I'm obsessed with The Little Mermaid. And so the diving and the mermaid oh, all so were like, yeah, this is so beautiful. Yeah, sure. The intention of, and I'm going off of you, Cody, the intention of, is this underwater or is this on land? This is a, like a, in a dream, okay. you know, because you see like a rocks floating okay. in the... So, okay. Yeah. It, in the water or air, it's some dreamlike scenery that cannot exist in, in, in real, real life. life. Yeah. So it's up to it's up to perception. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah. Thank you for the explanation. Well, That's fantastic. Well, yes. Yes. I, I wish we could peek into your oh. mind. <laughs> it must be incredible in there. You actually peek into my mind. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. 
actually, we've seen this. We have seen this. Every, we, we come to visit Cody often, yeah. and we always stop and stare at it, and we're like, oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, I, this is like my third or fourth show for you. This is the first time I actually heard you explain this painting, and it makes so much more sense that I have a deeper appreciation for it. Yeah. Um, as like I always tell, I tell them, like, I know like 5% of the story every single time. And then this is the first time I actually heard you explain this painting, and it makes so much more sense that I have a deeper appreciation for it. As like I always tell, I tell them, like, I know like 5% of the story every single time. And then this is the rest of the 95%. You should ask me. I know, I don't know why I would ask you, but this is like, it's so, so beautiful. You, you have to ask because you're not, you don't know. Yeah. yeah. Not, so, so, That's the one yeah. painting I forgot. You were close. You were close. I was close. Yeah, he was very close. Very he explained close. it very, very, very close to. Yeah. By the way, uh, if you've never been there, I, uh, if you have a chance, in St. Augustine, there is a um, King Street. Okay. And it's right. center of. Downtown. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, and it's a um, museum okay. of. Oh, yeah, helmet! Like yes. Oh, have you been? I, I think it's one and only. Oh, wow! The guy, all of his life, he collected these really? uh, diving... Does he yeah. have one of the keys, too? Maybe it's the... No, it, it's, the it's much oh. more on the St. Augustine. I did not know that. It's, we'll have to go check it out. It's a private museum. It's a, one guy and his wife operating it. It's amazing. Oh, we'll tell Fantastic. him you sent us. Yeah. Yeah. We'll tell him you yeah. yeah. sent us, yeah. I, Michael Cheval sent us. <laughs> That's fantastic. We'll go check it out. That was part of my life for years. Oh, yeah. Diving <laughs> underwater. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.